I'm Lauren, this is Kirk, Mercedes-Benz of Hanover. I wanted to say thank you for coming in, and I thought you'd like another look at the GLE, or ML in this case. And I know your husband is interested, so I thought maybe he'd want to see the video as well. So I'll just give you a little walk around here. You can see this is a typical Mercedes front style. The grille is the sport motif is what they call it. Chrome and black accents, so it's subtle, but it still has the Mercedes star in it, so you know what the car is. A lot of nice bright work, it's very tasteful. It's elegant, but fairly understated too. They didn't overdo it. This particular one that you drove is a 2014 ML350. New tires, new brakes, the wheels look like new. The body's in beautiful shape on it, actually. If you look down the sides, there aren't any scrapes or dings or dents. This one has the running boards like we talked about, and these running boards are lighted. There's a series of lights across here, LEDs, to light your way in. Another feature that this car has are these door protectors. This bright trim right here is optional on these cars, and it's a great thing to have because when you reach around the door handle, your fingernails can scratch this area. You won't have any scratches with the chrome trim there. Another feature this car has, these triangles in the mirror, they're on when you start the car, they shut off when you're at speed. When you're on a multiple lane road and there's a vehicle next to you, they light up amber. If you try to change lanes where that car is, they go red, and you get an acoustic warning inside the car as well, warning you that there's a car next to you. So there's so many features on these cars. They all have these roof rails on them. If you want to get a system, a storage system for the roof, you can buy the crossbars in our parts department. You'll see people occasionally with that, skis, that sort of thing on the roof. That's available on these. Very common is a trailer hitch. I know you don't do much towing. If you ever wanted to, you'll find a hitch on just about all these. And of course, this one has it. I'll show you the storage area again. Lots of room in the back. And the nice thing is these seats fold down as a split fold. You really have a lot of room when you drop those seats. Mercedes Touch right here, this bright work. This is chrome finish, metal. It's not going to scratch. Protects your bumper. You probably noticed, maybe even your car, they get a lot of scrapes right there when you bring things in and out of the car. All of these have power tailgate release right here. Nice convenience. And then the styling. I know you really like the styling. They look great. They're crisp, they're formal, yet they still have a utility look to them. It's not overdone at all. So they're very tasteful. Now I'll give you a look inside. The interior is like the outside. It's nice, but it's not overdone. Very tasteful. Genuine wood trim, burl walnut. You have to see the cross stitching on here on the seats, door panels. Very subtle, but just adds that extra touch. Makes the car nicer. They all have navigation. They all have nice audio systems climate control, really the full brace of equipment that you would consider to be on a luxury car, these come with. And then of course this one has the panorama roof. Like I was saying, maybe a quarter of these to a third of these get the panorama roof. The rest have a smaller moon roof. And they all have voice activation with the navigation, so you can verbally command different destinations. You don't have to put it in manually, so you can do it while you're driving. You also can change radio stations and make phone calls verbally. So just a lot of things that, well, maybe they're luxuries, but they're safety features as well. And Mercedes is the top brand for safety on the road. So I wanted to give you this quick look around the interior, which is in beautiful condition. Looks like a brand new car, really. This is a very popular color scheme, black on black. Very elegant, very classic Mercedes. So, please contact me with any questions that you have. No question is too small. You can send an email, just reply to this email, or please call me at 781-924-4229. And I'll stay in touch as well. Well, thank you, Lauren, again. It was a pleasure meeting you today. I hope to talk to you soon. Bye now.